Hello everyone, my name is Kumar and welcome back to my channel Kumar Programming. In our previous video, we have learned about how to write the test cases for our asynchronous functions by using our async await keyword as well as we have learned how to write the test cases for promises by resolving using then method. Now in this video, we are going to learn about how to write the test cases for our get post API functions and then after that we will see why we require to mock our API calls and its data that we are going to mock our API call and data by using knock library. So now let's start but before starting friends I have a very humble request to all of you if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe it and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all of my upcoming videos. So now let's get started. Let's flip to the Visual Studio. So now here just a recap that what we have done in our previous video. So basically here we have created a asynchronous functions by using our set timeout method. Here we are returning a promise by resolving value as 4. And then after that we have written our test cases here by using our async and await keyword. And in our second method we have resolved our promise by using then method. Now in this video we are going to write test cases for API. So I am going to use here API as a web API as a json placeholder.type.com. This is the free fake API for testing and prototy prototyping. And here I am going to use these resources as a user for the get request as well as post request. Okay. So now let me show you quickly what I am going to write the code and test it. So I hope that you are aware about this postman tool which is being used to test our API. Let me just create a request over here. So I'm going to use this API and from here I'm going to use this users. I'm going to get the list of all the users by using get method, okay? So if you see here, here we are seeing the list of all the users. Now I want to find out only the user which is having the ID one, okay? So here in the path parameter, I'll pass ID one and I'll send this request and if you see here now I'm getting the user which is having ID equal to 1 okay so this is the get request that we are going to use and now I'll show you the post request so I'll make a post request from here in order to have the post request we have to pass the user detail that which we are going to insert into the database so in the body section I'm going to insert the user data here and I'll make it as a JSON format here so first of all, I have to select here raw and in the form of the JSON, okay? So I'll go to the get request responses and I'll just copy this complete response from here, okay? Now I'll remove this ID because that ID is going to be generated from the backend system. And here I'll just change the name and username detail, Kumar Programming. I'll give the name as a Kumar Programming here and user as a Kumar. I'll keep the other details as it is. Now I'm going to make this request as a post. So here you can see I'm getting the response as a 201, right? It means that my resource is being created and we have inserted the record to the database. And if you see here, we are having our user ID 11. And if I go here in our user, we have a 10 users here, right? So our new user is going to be created with ID 11, which we are, which we are getting over here, right? So now we are going to use this API for our user resources for our get and post method. So in order to use these APIs, let me flip to the Visual Studio here in our calculator class. I'm going to write a function over here as a get user. Okay. And now here, what I'll try to do, I'll try to fetch record from our APIs, okay? So here I'm going to return. In order to fetch the data from our API, I'm going to use here Axios library. So let me install Axios, npm install, axios, axios. So now this library is being installed. So here let import this library, import Axios. Axios from Axios, okay? And here we will do return Axios.get. You can use any library like HTTP, node fetch, 
in order to fetch the data from API. But here I'm using XUS because this is the most popular library as of now in the industries. So xus.get. I'll put the URL over here for our API and which is nothing. Paste it over here. And we know that whenever we are calling our API, always return a promise. So definitely we have to write here a wait keyword and this call is going to be asynchronous. So we have to write here a sync. So this is nothing. This is our asynchronous functions and we are returning a promise from this API. Okay. Similarly, we will write for our save user. Okay. So here I'm going to write for our save user. And here we are going to call our post method post. And what else that we have to do? We have to pass our payload, right? So here I'll write user and we must have to pass this payload over. So here we are we are going to fetch the record by using get method from our API. And here we are going to save the user by using post method. Okay. Now let's refactor this code a bit. Here, if you see this base URL is common. So I'll make a base URL variable over here. This is my base URL. And then I'll use I'll use here template literals and inside this back tick dollar sign and then curly bracket we will use base URL and after that we will use this users one okay and I'll remove this and similarly we will copy it from here and paste it so now it's better now we have to write the test cases for this so let's go to our test folder here i'll create a file as get post api and mocking okay dot spec dot ts so here we will write our test suit as a describe and we will give the description as api testing and then in the second parameter i'll pass the fat arrow function now inside this i'll write our test case for our get method we know we have to write our test cases by using it method. So here I'll use it and then here I'll write our description for test. So this should make a get request from API. Okay. Now again, here we are going to call a callback function. Now here we have to write our test case for our get user functions, right? So first of all, let me create an object for our calculator class const calc equal to new calculator right now we need to call our get user function so here const response equal to calc dot get user right we remember that this is a asynchronous function so we must have to use a wait keyword and whenever we are using a wait keyword we should be using a sync keyword as well okay so now here in our test case first section arrange and this is our act and now it's time to assert okay so in the assertion what we have to write we have to expect now if you see expect it's auto automatically imported from chai library expect this response dot status to equal to 200 right what it should be 200 now what else we have to write expect this this response dot data dot id right to equal to one we know that we are going to fetch the user for user id one and here we are expecting that this response status would be 200 as well as the data id would be one okay now let's run this test case i'll just try to run this this test case only so let me try to find out if we have any other describe dot only in in this application yes we have a sync await promise so i will remove it from here now we have only one so this test case is going to be executed right and rest of other test cases is going to be ignored now let's see npm run test now if you see this api testing is getting executed and this test case should make a get request from api is successfully passed but if you see here it took around 418 millisecond we will talk about it later in this video and now we will write similarly for our post method okay so let's write for our post method as well here should make a post request from 
API, right? And here we are going to call calc dot save user, and we have to pass our user payload, right? So now let's create a variable over here as a user payload const user payload. I'll copy the response from here. And from here, I'll remove this ID, right? Because this ID is going to be generated from the backend system. And here I'll change this Kumar programming. And here I'll change the username as a Kumar. I'll make the other detail as it is here. But this is our user payload, which we are going to pass in our post request. Okay. And as of now, I'll make this object as a type any. Now what will happen here? We are going to save our user by using our post method. Okay. Now this status would be 201 because resource is going to be created into the database. That would be the successful response. And here ID would be 11. Right. Now let's run the test case once again. PM run test. See now our both of the test cases is successfully passed should make a get request from API and should make a post request from API. Now here is a problem if you see here this test case are taking around 342 milliseconds and this test case is taking around 253 milliseconds because we are calling the actual API to get the response right. But suppose that we are having a thousand of test cases so it's going to be a impact on the performance while doing the, our integration testing. So it is better to have mock our API response. So we should not call the actual API rather than we should mock their responses. Okay. And that we can do by using our knock library. So now let's first of all install our knock library. Through that we are going to mock our API response. So here npm install knock so our knock library is installed so now we will mark our response from our api right so here first we will mark our get response so here i'll use our knock library so knock see here knock is automatically imported knock and i'm going to knock this api right so here already we have created our base URL. I am going to use the same. This is our base URL. I am going to use same URL over here as well. So I am going to knock this base URL and then get your user for ID 1. Okay. And what we have to return here as replay 200 response. That is okay response. And we have to return our mocked user response okay so here i'll mock user response now we will create this mock user response very simple here const mock user response as a id equal to one and name equal to kumar programming okay that's it so what we have done we have mocked our api as well as get request okay and what we are returning returning as a 200 okay response as well as this mocked user response okay so now what will happen this function will be called but it's not going to call the actual api okay it will call the api but it will return this mocked response from the api now let's see that so i'll take a debug point over here and i'll take a debug point in our get user function okay so i can show you that this function is getting called okay i'll debug my application now i'll use javascript debug terminal now here I'll write our command npm run test. So now debugger is attached. So now this hit this breakpoint get user function. But before that we have already mocked this response. Okay. So now what will happen? It will call this function. See this get user function is getting called and it's calling to our get calling to our API but it's not going to return the actual data which is returning from here because we have mocked it through our knock library so it's going to return whatever the response that we are returning from our mocked response now let's now see if you see the response here we are having status 200 as well as in the data if you see we are having ID and Kumar programming okay so we are getting this response 
from our API. So our API is getting called, but we are not getting the actual response. Okay. Now let's finish it. So this is giving error. Why? Because of timeout. Okay. So I'll delete this debug point now. And for the time being, I'm just going to comment this our post test case. Now let me run it once again and pm run test. Okay. So hopefully this test case should be passed. Yeah, see here now this test case is getting passed. But if you see here, still it's taking 106 millisecond, but it is significantly lower than the previous one. Okay. Now, similarly, we will do for our post method as well. Okay. So I'll uncomment this for now. And this is our user payload. And here, I'm going to use knock library and mock our response. Knock dot knock. What we have to knock? Base URL. Okay. Base URL dot post. And inside this post, we are going to users. Right. And we must have to pass our payload here. Right. And then what we have to return from this mock? Replay as replay here. And it's going to return status as a 201 because we are creating the resource. We are inserting the record. So your 201 and then expected response. Okay. User response. And what would be the expected user response? Const expected, expected user response would be equal to. So it would be similar to this. Right. along with the additional information as id id equal to 11 right now we have mocked our response here now this should be working as expected now let's run this test case once again and pm run test so it's giving error as i expected undefined to equal to 11 so here we are getting this response dot data dot id as a undefined let's see why so okay basically we have a uh, given in a back tick that's the reason now let me run it once again and pm run test so here it should be in id like this okay in the form of json break this for now let's run it once again see our both of the test cases is getting pass here right and here just remember that it doesn't matter what all the values you are going to give here right it doesn't matter so if i remove all those things it's absolutely okay okay because here we are mocking our response and here forcefully that we are saying that this api should return this response so see here we have mocked our response and then this save user is function is being called from the api and and we are getting this response from the api which we are testing over here okay so our main motive is to test this function not to the api right this function needs to be called and this function needs to be the response needs to be having this status and value okay and be remember that whenever we are mocking anything we have to be make it clean okay so here i'll use the after hook and here inside this after hook i'll pass a callback function and here i'll use the knock dot clear all okay sorry clean all and these both of the test cases should be working as expected okay so friends in this video we have learned how to write the test cases for our get and post api calls as well as how we can mock our api responses okay i'll push this code to the github and provide the link to the description so you can take the reference from there in the next section, we are going to learn about code coverage and reporting by using our NYC Istanbul tool. And friends, if you have learned from this video, then please don't go without subscribing this channel because your each and every subscription gives me a lot of confidence and moral support to make the videos for you. So please keep supporting me and my channel and share this video to the people who really need it. So friends, that's all for the day. So I'll see you in my next video. Till the time, take care.